free call to action buttons in this video right now. Let's go. What's good creators? Welcome back to Mons on Media. Now, if you're new here or a returning subscriber, you know my mission has always been about finding you solutions either for free or within your budget. One of the things I often see around the internet is where and how do you get your call to action buttons. So right now I'm going to show you how to do that for free. With that being said, this method only works if you're using an editor like Premiere or DaVinci Resolve to remove a green screen. Now, if you've never used DaVinci Resolve, there is a free program that would fit most creators' needs. Jumping right into it, we're going to head over to nvidia.io and we're gonna use the free version. Once you're in InVideo, head over to Blank Template and click on Square One by One. Then you want to click on Start Editing and let it load. First things we want to do here is remove any text or anything that might be in the scene by clicking on it and clicking on Delete. We'll leave the background for now, but we will eventually change that to a green. Head on over to the left menu and click on stickers. At the top search bar, we want to type in subscribe. And throughout all these options, you can click on any of these to add to your scene. I'm gonna choose this subscribe animation and I'm gonna size it accordingly. Now what you want to do is keep it fairly centered. The next thing you want to do is head over to the right and unlock the background layer. And once you do that, click on edit and then click on colors. Click on the color box so that we can choose green. You could leave the green as is. I tend to use a little bit of a darker green to mimic actual green screen colors. But again, it really doesn't matter as long as the color is green. At this point, you want to head over to the top right and export this project. For the free version, they only allow a 720p render, which is fine for what we're doing today. Once you select 720p, click on export video. Now head over to where it says job ID and rename the file. Once it's finished rendering, you want to click on the download button and save the file to import it into your editor. Here we are in DaVinci Resolve. What I've already done is put a scene in place just to give you a better visual idea. But what you want to do now is click on File, Import File, Import Media, or shortcut is Control i Click on the file that you just downloaded, which I've already imported. Now, as you can see here, my scene is just a, a bridge. It's a stock video that I got. Put the subscribe button on a layer on top of the video. Highlight the clip and go to the inspector if it isn't chosen already. Click on an inspector. Double click on cropping and we want to crop the top so that we get rid of the watermark. And we want to crop the bottom to do the same thing. And with the clip still highlighted, head down to the fourth icon here called Fusion. Your button here will be called Median 1. You could rename it to whatever name you want to name it. Click on Control Space to call up the tools functions. Search for something called Delta Keyer and you want to click on Add. You will see the Delta Keyer just after your Median 1. In my case, it's the Subscribe button. And then on the very right here in the tools, 
you want to grab the eyedropper tool, drag it onto the scene, and that all the green will be removed. Now, if we were to preview this, as you can see, no more green. Now, if you really zoom in there, there is a hint of green on the edges, but that's okay. And there you have it, a super simple and easy way for free to get animated call to action buttons for your project. I'll be covering DaVinci Resolve in future videos, so make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell to know when that video comes out. Now, if you got value out of that, or at least because I saved you some money, hit that like button. And for now, get out there, hit record, and create.